We didn't get a chance to wrap up 2022 uh, in that end of the year show. So this is our little window to do our Sports Talk Awards and just talk about the your favorite sports stories of 2022. Eric, I'll let you go first, Tim. You can round it out because we only got about four minutes left on the program. Eric, give us your favorite sports story uh, that you uh, saw in 2022. Well, and, and there was a couple of them I, I really could have went with, but, uh, you know, thanks to, to Tim shaking the cobwebs out of my head, how could I forget this one? But the Warwick Warriors baseball team laying claim to a state championship and bringing home gold to Lidditz. And, and, you know, when you think about it at the start of the season, they did not have Matthew Williams on the mound. He was going to be the one-two punch with Matt Seibert. You know, give the rest of the guys. Seth Adomnik pitched outstanding for the Warriors offensively. I mean, there wasn't a weak link in this team. And these guys just played aggressive baseball. They hit defensively. They were solid. They got good pitching. But then once you get to the playoffs, then it's the clutch hits. They, you know, another, you know, instant classic against Cumberland Valley that win nine to eight. And then... Uh, Nick's logic with a walk-off home run in, in the playoffs and it just kept going and you could just feel that momentum and the confidence and then they wrap it up with a state title uh, awesome awesome story a lot of fun we had so much fun following that in the spring uh, I got to go up to Penn State and be there for their championship and it was an amazing time all right Tim we got to squeeze in yours so you got about two minutes here so go ahead and give us your favorite story from 2022 I'm sticking with the baseball thing, but I'm going to go to the major leagues and, and looking at everything that happened last year. Uh, I, I've got to go with the Philadelphia Phillies and their remarkable run. Uh, they they just slid into home at the last minute <laughs> to get into the playoffs. Somehow, when you look at this team, they were down in the ninth inning to St. Louis uh, in the first game, and they came back uh, with with – a couple of clutch hits in that ninth inning, then won the second game, went on, um, beat the Braves, beat the Padres. And then, you know, one of the, there's two things that stand out to me about the Phillies run. One, Bryce Harper, he just took that team on his shoulders. And that home run he hit in the eighth inning against the San Diego Padres in game six, where uh, uh, Scott Fransky will ever be known hmm. for its bedlam at the bank on his call of that home run on the radio that was great they had a chance to beat the astros uh but a little bit of uh their good fortune uh ran out but i don't nobody expected this team uh to be there uh it was a great run it energized philadelphia it energized that fan base and you know look at it now you've got a good sixers team flyers are playing okay Phillies went to the World Series, and now you've got the Eagles. So Philadelphia sports is back, baby.